Hey guys, it's Lydia here from L Makings, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my signs in many different ways. So, let's get started. So first off, I do want to talk about, you just heard me say L Makings. Um, now, that is not really permanent right now, but I'm going to try and just make that the whole general of what I'm doing um, on this channel. I don't want to um, narrow it down to just 3D printing, because now you guys know I have been doing lots of sign making, and I really have my own business. So I feel like L Makings is really like uh, open and can refer to anything, um, even like for my business. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that down below. Um, but other than that, this video is going to be showing you once again um, how I make my signs. Uh, I know I uploaded a video like three weeks ago um, of updates and stuff, and I'm sorry it's been so long. It just I've gotten very busy and just been making lots of signs, and it's been keeping me busy. I know that's been my excuse for a while, um, but it's the truth. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, now, I'm going to be talking about multiple ways. It's not just going to be making one sign step by step, but if you guys do want to see me um, do that, let me know down below in the comments. I've just put together a bunch of videos of uh, me making a bunch of signs and doing a different step for each sign. For example standing the wood, also gluing up the wood, cutting the wood out, um, doing letters, and other stuff like that. Um, and at the end, it's a little like weird because I finish the sign and then I show you how I do my airbrushing. Um, that's just a little tip for you guys. And um, once again, airbrushing for your letters um, on the raised letters is very, very nice. I do recommend that. So let's get on with the video and I'll see you guys at the end. So the first thing I always do is uh, glue up my boards um, if they are too long boards that have to be glued together to make them wider. Um, or as you can see here, I'm using pallet wood. Uh, I plane it all down to the same length if the board is going to end up bigger than my planer so that I won't be able to plane it in the end. Um, and because my planer's uh, blades aren't very well or very good, um, they have some chips in them. I have to sand every single board that I do put through the planer. So that is actually my fault. I just put more work into it. Um, and then you want to make sure you join all your boards that you're going to be gluing together. I learned this the hard way um, by gluing boards together and then finding out that there was gaps in them so it wasn't very clean. And if you're going to do this, um, any kind of planing or sanding, just make sure you have a mask on like I do in here in this video. Um, I finally got one of these because I've been doing so much woodworking and realized I really need one. Um, and then I tried to cut the boards that were going to be across from each other to be the same length. Um, I actually was going to try and uh, glue these up jaggedly so that the glue seam wasn't right down the middle, um, but eventually you'll see I do eventually do that. So the side I'm cutting right now is the side that I um, already used the joiner on, but then I just have to go through the joiner with that one side and clean off just a little bit to get away the burn marks um, from the table saw. Um, and then as you can see here, I'm lining things up and I'm trying to make sure everything is eventually um, straight once I glue it and they will fit together as you can see here like a little puzzle. Um, but uh, you guys don't see, but I will later cut that off because it just doesn't work. And this is how I glue up my panels, uh, these thin board panels. It just makes it a lot easier and I just use this tape. I do it to both sides and then take off the... Uh, glue and I sand everything down as you can see it didn't fit very well so I eventually used our uh, crosscut sled and just cut them and you shouldn't do this because actually in the long run when I went to use this board it actually broke um, so unfortunately I ended up with two different size boards instead of this large one but I usually don't glue up signs uh, this big with this many pallet pieces I usually just find a bigger piece of wood two bigger pieces of wood to glue together um, and then I just did a little bit of extra work on some of the um, corners and stuff and then went through and glued it together. Now this is the same process for basically every board that I want to make bigger or longer. Um, mostly I make them wider instead of longer. I just glue two wider boards together. Um, and then this is a um, example of what I do for my uh, letters that I'm going to cut out. So I just plane the wood down to the thickness it's going to be and then I sand it with, I start with 40 sometimes because of the um, little grooves in it from the planer, but I go from 40 to 80 to 220 I believe and then I just use my glue, um, super glue and tape method on my CNC and um, then just use my thin uh, 
straight bit and then cut out the letters. And also, as you can probably see here, um, this video was actually, parts of these videos were actually um, filmed before I upgraded my machine, so the homing and stuff is a little different. Um, and also here is an example of a smaller board that I glued up with a bunch of pieces of pallet. Um, this, I actually had to sand down all the um, pieces to make them flat because I didn't uh, plane them down in the beginning, so I just used 40 grit sandpaper and plane them down. Sometimes that's what I have to do if I forget to plane them all to the same length, but in the end, after I do plane them to the same length, sometimes I do end up having to sand it down still to get a little bit flat. Now, as you can see here, this is a bigger board. I did not um, glue up together. I bought it as a, I believe it was a f um, six foot board, uh, six foot by 16, and I just stain that. That's just how I stain my boards, plain and simple. And then this is how I uh, do my painting. So I put some contact paper over, um, over the wood before I actually cut it. And then I cut it and the pieces get, the plastic gets cut off where the words will be. And I just cover up where I don't want to be painted. It's super simple and it's super easy. I got this airbrush for Christmas and um, it makes things a lot easier. Um, painting is a lot cleaner and there's no brush strokes or anything. The only thing that I don't like obviously is cleaning the brush every single time with every color. But in the end it all works out and it comes out with a great finish. So painting your signs this way is super easy. Uh, again, I just use contact paper over the top, and some people actually use blue painter's tape, um, but I just use contact paper and it cuts it out. Next, this is a sign that I've engraved. So this was pre-stained and then engraved, um, which made it look really nice. This is actually our family uh, sign. And so I go through with uh, polyurethane into all the letters and making sure I get down in the creases before I actually do the base of the sign, as you can see here. Um, and I actually use the tiling technique with this. This board is way bigger than my actual um, cutout area on my machine, so that worked out really nice. Um, and then here is just an example of what I do after I put the backing on and the frame on. I just stain everything on the outside. I usually stain the back too, but other than that, I just finish everything off with a um, finished coat of polyurethane, um, polyacrylic, or just clear spray paint. And I also have actually found a new way to paint my um, raised letters. So I just uh, put them backwards um, or upside down, put tape over it, put it on a piece of wood, and then do my super glue um, activator thing. And then um, that makes the letters not blow away when I use my airbrush to paint them so I can get them fully coated without actually having to touch them. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was very fun to make and edit this video just to show you guys the different ways on what I do, um, what I'm doing now instead of just 3D printing. Um, once again, I do want to know what you guys think about this video. Please let me know down below in the comments. Um, I'd like to know if you have any tips on making signs with a CNC machine, um, ways to upgrade my machine. Um, now it's actually working very, very well because I did upgrade it. But I want to know what you guys have had experience with um, and if you like what I'm doing right now. Um, and also some video tips would be very, very helpful uh, down below so you guys can uh, basically control what I'm making videos about. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, I'm very sorry for the delay of upload. I will try my best to upload more often um, with what I've been doing, but I really do need some ideas. So let me know once again down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.